Just a few minutes into Bayonetta 3, a man punched the tidal wave in the face. It was at this point that I was reminded, Bayonetta games are just absolutely bonkers. If you're new to the franchise, Bayonetta is a Japanese action game. You play as Bayonetta, a tall sassy woman who uses witch powers and summons to kick ass. The truth with Bayonetta at this point is this. If you're already familiar with the Bayonetta franchise and have been playing it, or you're already familiar with a lot of wacky Japanese games, you already know that this kind of game is for you. And if you haven't already, you're probably planning on buying it. The question comes in, what if you don't know Bayonetta that well? Or if you're not that familiar with some of the weird games coming out of Japan. For someone like me that sits somewhere in the middle, I find myself with a bit of a difficult decision. I can't really tell if I really like this game. While the combat's kind of cool, it's a lot looser than something like Devil May Cry or Ninja Gaiden. The summons are pretty cool too, so this is better suited for someone who likes the bigger scale action, whereas I prefer something a bit more up close and personal. I absolutely have to take my hat off though to some of the concepts in this game. If you for some reason go into this game not expecting a giant Godzilla fight, or don't at some point plan to be playing a modern version of elevator action, you'd be dead wrong. So do I recommend Bayonetta 3? If you played Bayonetta before and you liked it, this is going to be your cup of tea. It's an excellent sequel. If you're someone who's coming into this new and you're buying it because your friends say it's cool, you may want to do a little bit more homework before jumping in. So if you're a newcomer to this franchise, I don't know if I can recommend Bayonetta 3 to you. It might be a little bit too wacky and crazy at this late stage. If you're already a fan of Bayonetta 1 and 2, hooray! You've got a great sequel to play. A sequel that's not afraid to turn the dial up to 11, then 12, then snap it off, load it into a gun and fire it off into space. It seems I'm unfashionable. Late. Thanks for watching, subscribe and we'll see you soon.